Hi, welcome. So we have got another question of circles and let me quickly share my screen so that we can start the discussion. Yes, here we are. All right. So uh, now, uh, you know, let's start the question and it basically says that there is a circle with diameter AB and there is also a chord CD and the length of this chord CD is equal to the radius of the circle, right? So let's first have these things here and, you know, I will simply draw the diameter. Wow. So that's the uh, diameter and we can name it as A. We can name it this as P and let the center of the circle be O. Now what they are saying is that there is a, there is a chord and you know, maybe the chord is like this and we can then simply connect the chord, right? And suppose this is C and this is D, right? Now what they're saying is that AC and BD, they both are extended and they intersect at a point E. So let me first connect A with C. So here I have connected and now I'm extending it. Okay. So this is how we have extended it, right? I'm now joining it so that we can see it properly. And then we can, we also connect BD. Yeah. And now we are extending this also. So when we extend, it will be like this. Okay. And it will be like something like this. Now this intersection point is E, right? This one. So let's name it as E. Right. So this is E. Now what we need to find is that angle AEB is equal to 60 degree. Now angle AEB means A from here till E and then we have B. So that means we are talking about this particular angle and we need to prove that this angle is 60 degree. Now, before we start attempting this question, let's have a little more construction and you know, I will connect the point O, the center of the circle with the point D of the chord CD. Similarly, I will connect this also, right? And yeah, so now we will start uh, working on this question. And the first thing is that we need to find out the, we need to identify this particular angle. Now let's consider the triangle which we have here OCD. So in OCD, we know that this side is equal to this side because they're both being the radius of the circle. So we can write OC is equal to OD. Now in the question, it is also given that the CD is equal to the radius of the circle. So that means even CD will be equal. So now what it means is all three of these sides are equal and hence this triangle is an equilateral triangle, right? And it's an equilateral triangle. And if it's an equilateral triangle, then that means the angle which we are looking at, that is C O D will be 60 degree, right? Now, what we will also do is we will construct We'll do a little more construction and we are connecting point C with B.
right? Now, what we also understand is that if there is a chord, if there is a chord, and then we have the chord CD, that's the chord. So we know that when a chord is subtending an angle at the center, which is angle COD, basically chord CD is subtending an angle COD at the center. And the same chord is also subtending another angle, which is this on the circle, right? So, and that's CBD. So we know that angle COD will be double of angle CB. D. I'm sorry, C was missing here. Yeah. Now, what it means is basically we can write that angle CBD is equal to half of 60 degree and that's 30 degree. Right? So, it means that this particular angle this is 30 degree, right? Now, what we will also see is that, what is the measurement of this angle, this complete angle, right? So this complete angle, the measurement of angle A, C, B is equal to 90 degree. And why it is 90 degree? Because this is an angle which is being made in a semicircle, right? We already know that if there is any, any angle which is being made on the semicircle with the help of a diameter, or rather I would say that if a diameter is subtending any angle on any point of the circle, that is always a right angle. So we can say that ACB is a 90 degree angle and if this is a 90 degree angle then that means we can also say that angle ECB ECB is also 90 degree because A being the straight line that's a straight angle 180 degree and we subtract 90 degree from this and we get finally 90 degree. So we can say that even this angle, this is 90 degree, right? Now let's do the final step. And now we will consider the triangle C, E and B. And we know that the sum of all the angles of a triangle is always 180 degree. So we can say that, you know, angle A, E, B plus angle E, C, B plus angle E, B, C. they both are, all three of them are, sorry, the, all three of them will put together make a 180 degree. Or we can say that all of this is 180 degree. Now from here, we already have the value of this one, ECB. We already found that out. That is 30 degree, right? And EBC is Sorry, this e ECB is 90 degree. We just found that out. And EBC is this one, right? So that's 30 degree. And we'll put these values and we'll then find out the value of angle AEB. So angle ECB is 90 degree. And this is 30 degree. And that's equal to 180 degree. So we can say that angle AEB is finally 60 degree, right? <coughs> Sorry. So 
this is how we have proven what was required and we finally did it into different parts the first part was that we found the value of this angle that was the first step and then we found the value of this this was the second step then we found the value of this angle and that was the third step and then finally this step that is the fourth so otherwise this question is little complicated we don't you know uh, really are able to remember that what angle needs to be found out first so if we remember this 1 2 3 and then 4 this serial order then we can always solve this uh, easily because this question is uh, very easy so for your ease what i'm going to do is i'm just going to mark it like this is 1 what we did here then we found this out so this is the step number 2 which is this okay then we did step number 3 which was this one this one so this is this and then we took the final and fourth step and that is this so this is how we have solved this question and i hope you guys enjoyed it and also understood it keep watching these videos i'll be coming up very soon with more videos thank you so much have a nice day and bye bye thank you